Leslie Wilmot, wardrobe and packing expert with Smart Packing and founder of Smart Women on the Go. In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to pack clothes in a suitcase to prevent wrinkling. Now, the first rule is don't overpack. Make sure that you leave enough room around your clothing rather than squishing it so that you don't have wrinkling on the other end of your trip. And the other rule is to pack travel friendly clothing. If at the end of the day, your clothes are this wrinkled like linen would be, these are not travel friendly and they're not packing friendly. Now my favorite technique for preventing wrinkles is to use plastic dry cleaners bags. And the technique I favor for clothes that tend to wrinkle is folding, but I call this interfolding. What I've done is I've divided the cavity of my suitcase into layers and I actually have a little divider in here that came with the suitcase. And then I just begin to fold my clothing one into the other. You can see that I've put my pants in first and I've let the legs go over the side and I alternate where they're placed. I also have plastic dry cleaners bags between each layer of clothing. The pants are on the long side and then I'm going to take my shorter items such as jackets or blouses and I put them in top to bottom of the suitcase, put in another bag and then I begin to fold. I'm interfolding so that as I alternate pieces and smooth as I go each garment protects the next and it serves to softly fold the clothes rather than a crease that could possibly set into the clothes. Now I'd like to show you a technique for folding and packing either men's or women's shirts to keep them nice and crisp. First of all, I've got my husband's shirt here and he doesn't like a wrinkle in them. So I lay it flat on the bed, opened up, and then I have a dry cleaner's plastic bag on there that helps to prevent wrinkles and I fold the arms in and the sides of the shirt in over that dry cleaner's plastic bag which was placed on the back of the shirt. Then I put a, another dry cleaner bag in there. I have folded it lengthwise and I am going to fold up the shirt just a third and then a third again to the collar area. Now I take another dry cleaners bag and I place the shirt in the center and then I just wrap this up in plastic and all that plastic is going to protect the shirt. Another way to pack a shirt and other items actually is to use a packing system. These are really, really handy and they have all the instructions there to help you fold items. One of my girlfriends, and actually my husband too, when, they're, when he's packing for himself, he really loves this because he can use this as a guide to fold. Fold the shirt in on the sides first and it tells him exactly how to do it. And then you fold up the bottom. You slip out the cardboard and you're ready to start packing another item. And you simply fold this over and it becomes a nice container to put into your suitcase. I'm Leslie Wilmot, wardrobe and packing expert with Smart Packing and founder of Smart Women on the Go. And this is the best way to pack clothes in a suitcase to prevent wrinkling.